Welcome back to the channel everybody, I'm Babyface P. Today we're doing a quick video on whiting a stock. So this is gonna go in the series of fixing up the um, Marlin Model 38, but I figured this is a good enough time to do this video. Um, so we've already tried to remove a little bit of the grease from up front, um, so I can acroglass this. Um, we're still continuing to work on that, but I figured this is a good enough time to show you guys how to white, what's called white a stock. And uh, I'll bring you guys in, I'll show you what that is, show you how to do it uh, on the cheap-ish, and uh, we'll get this video done, all right. All right, so stock whiting, what is it? Basically, it's using some sort of powder mixed with a liquid, painting it onto your stock, and then heating it so the oils uh, will seep out of the stock wood, the grain, and get captured by whatever your whiting compound is. Um, I did a search for the Brownells whiting compound and found that in their MSDS, basically all it is is calcium carbonate. So I ordered some of this off of Amazon. I think I got it from Amazon. I'll, wherever I got it, I'll put a link below. Um, it's just a big bag of calcium carbonate and a pound of this stuff should go a really long way. So we're gonna mix our calcium carbonate in a cup with some, some sort of uh, acetone or paint thinner or mineral spirit, something like that, to turn it into sort of like uh, uh, a viscous sort of nasty white junk. We're gonna paint it on the stock, we're gonna let this flash off, and then we're gonna heat the stock with a heat gun to try to draw some of the oils out, and this whiting compound will then soak up those oils, which will then remove and continue the process until it's, um, until it's hopefully as blonde as it can be. It is, a, um, this is walnut, so it's never gonna be like light, it's not a light wood, but we're gonna try to get as much oil out of all this as we can because we're gonna have to refinish it anyways. And I wanna get this as clean as possible for the aqua glass. So let me go ahead and start mixing this up into a cake batter sort of stuff and then I'll paint it on. And uh, we'll see how this goes. So I've never done this before. So this is the first time, let's see how it goes. cover. Um, so I put one layer on. I'm going to see what that does. We're going to cover this so it doesn't evaporate out. And get a fan running because whew, I'm going to be high as a kite in like three minutes if I don't. As you can see, this dried fairly quickly. The acetone uh, dries up really fast. It is already starting to soak up oil. We're gonna try helping it with a little heat and see what happens. See if we can turn a little browner. Like I said, all this is gonna do, this, this whiting compound, all it does is soak up the oil, the excess oil that comes out of the wood. That's pretty much all it does. We'll wipe it off, we'll reapply it, and do this a couple times until the stock looks nice and pretty. Let's see what happens when we clean this off a little bit. Yeah, it's a little orange. Just a acetone to... Yeah, it's, it's bringing some of the, the nasty with it, which is good. Yeah, so it's uh, taking out all the old stain and stuff. You can see as it dries up, it uh, brings a lot of junk with it. This works pretty well. Looks like it's a fairly slow process. Um, this isn't something you're gonna do in like 
45 minutes. It's probably gonna take a couple coats. But uh, I'll continue with it and see what kind of finish we can get out. Let's see how much oil is still left in there. Look, there's a flash real quick before I catch it on fire. <laughs> see what kind of oil is left in there. When you heat it like this, you'll see the oil pop up through the pores. No, there's a lot right here. Yeah, you can see all that oil coming out there. This looks like it actually did a pretty good job. Removing all this. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, we're going to go ahead and white up the rest of the stock, clean it off, and see what, uh, see what we think. Right, I got one more coat. This is, I've been sitting here for about, a, I don't know, an hour or so, maybe a little more. Um, just putting some on, heating it with the heat gun, taking it back off. And we've gotten most of this to look perfect. Uh, the back, there's still a little bit around here, but that's gonna be hidden with a butt plate. I may work a little bit more right in there, we'll see. Um, this has been giving me trouble. There is so much oil caked down into the wrist of this gun that, Take me forever to get this out um, but one more wipe down let's see what we get i'm gonna wipe it down one more time oh with some paint thinner you can see that's just plaguing me that little tiny bit but we will uh get what we can um i'm gonna dunk this forehead one more time in a just a cup of paint thinner of acetone um to just help work off all the interior and i want to clean out all these little cracks that have accumulated the the whiting compound um, and then we'll hang it to dry for a couple days the um, after glass will be in by then and we'll start gluing it all back together so there you go that's how to white a gun finish off by um, removing as much as you can with uh, well you got to remove all of it I guess if you're gonna be <laughs> if you're gonna be refinishing this you can grab now it's time to uh, take some steel wool or some very, very fine sandpaper and go over this to knock down any of the grain that's popped up. And you're pretty much ready to stain once you get all of that cleaned off. So uh, there you go. That's whiting, whiting the stock. We will, uh, I'm gonna finish this up off camera, get these little spots left and uh, call it done. 
So if you guys like this, like, share, subscribe. We're going to have more coming in the way of the Model 28. Excuse me, Model 38. This isn't a shotgun. Uh, more of this in the way of the Model 38. So um, I'll catch you guys on the next video. See ya.